Hello everybody, this is BeastGat100, and I am, for all intents and purposes, I am officially back. Uh, in terms of videos, welcome back to some more Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger. Uh, great start, great start. Blaze Blue Continuum Shift Extend. In the previous episode, we had gotten the bad ending to Jin's story. And with everything but the gag ending out of the way, it's time we it's time we make our way towards the true ending for Jin's story. If you like what you see, leave a like down below, comment if you have anything to say, subscribe to me if you haven't already, click that bell so you're notified of everything that I do when I do it, and share with your friends so they can join in on this adventure. Let's get started. Whoops. But you know what? It's fine. Just do that. Uh, actually, uh, <laughs> Oh, wait, that's the wrong thing. Where's Jin's? There it is. Oh, I see. So this is... I guess he and Makoto were right. My wounds are still very serious. Okay, nope, I'm good. I'm, I'm in the right place. Right, I forgot how long this section was. But it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, I just had to lose to Rachel. All right. The will paid its turning. Rebel one. Action. And no, I didn't. I will come near near you anytime I want, you stupid bitch. Not dealing with your shit today. Perhaps you have grown a little. You may even be able to win. That's. I didn't change the freaking difficulty back. Fuck it. <laughs> what would you like to do now, princess? To begin with, he. I should like some tea. Quickly before I grow impatient. I wish to think. What? May be able to win? What are you mumbling to yourself? That boy is none of your concern. Playtime is over. Run off to Ragnar and prove to me that your performance here was not unique. Ha! Like you needed to tell me to do that. Oh, how delightful. Oh yes, there is one more thing. I really feel I should tell you that you haven't a chance. Come again? Need I remind you who won our little game just now? As you are just now, I've no doubt you will lose. Gruesomely. And what makes you so sure about that? Well, I believe that is for me to know and for you to find out, isn't it? Enough of this bullshit! The one who will kill. No. Let me be more accurate. The only one capable of killing my brother is me! Oh, is that so? A moment, Mr. Hero. Huh? Valkenheim? Yes, my lady. Please make this creature somewhat more capable. As things stand now, the handicap is simply too great. Your wish is my command, madam. If you will excuse me. What are you talking? Oh! Impossible. 
happened did you I do apologize but this may be somewhat painful do try and bear with it and please do not move bastard <laughs> wow goodness that looks dreadful <laughs> It looks rather like you're enjoying yourself, Mr. Hero. A demon! She's a living, breathing demon! You never learn, do you? It is done. I suppose I should have expected nothing less from a hero. Excellent work, Valkenheim. You are as graceful and skilled as ever. You are too kind, madam. You bastards! Huh? What's this? My body! I do apologize, but I could do little more given the circumstances. Your customary range of motion should return in less than a fortnight, although. Now you shall be able to fight, Mr. Hero. Go now! Shoo! I hope you don't expect me to thank you. Oh, I would prefer you did not. It would be rather... disgusting. Having an injury like this, maybe now my brother will have a glimmer of chance against me. He'll need the handicap. You fool! The handicap is for you! What? Mr. Butler? Was there something else you were going to say to him? Ah, uh, yes. You see, after the effect wears off, the subject will experience intense pain. Even Master Jubei could not contain himself. Holy! Are you serious? Mm-hmm. <laughs> One must use a strong hand when training a rebellious dog. Princess! Princess you're, you're too sadistic! Too sadistic. Wah, wah. Uh... Taking no this chances. An NOL branch? Also, before we continue, I just want to fix one thing. Yes, yes, I know. Uh. I have to go here. Game options. I think I had it on easy. I don't, not too much. I don't, I don't want to do too much in terms of difficulty, but I don't want it to be completely, uh, I don't, I don't want to completely wipe the floor with any, with everyone either. This is an NOL branch? You, Jin. Is it you? Hey, Ragna. Yes, brother. We finally meet again. What the hell are you doing here? Why does it matter? Who cares about that? You and I are both here. Isn't that all that matters? Wonderful. So, I take it things are gonna end up as they always do? Probably. What else were you expecting? It's your fate to die by my hand. And only by my hand! Now, dear brother, we will fight and fight and fight until... until only one of us remains! Shit! You jackass! <laughs> so, brother, are you ready to die? Yeah. Here's the thing, though. The will of fate is turning. Rebel one, action! Come here, brother! Seriously, move it! What? Yeah, Yukiana said won't activate. And I have to win with <laughs> this handicap. God 
damn it. Huh? Why? Is Yukiyanasa? I have no clue what's going on, but I guess this is the proverbial it. Brother, I, I'm. It has to be you! Huh? I have no idea what you're trying to say, but I don't have time to hear you out. I hope you don't mind taking a little nap. Later, Chin. Oops. But refuses to succumb to fate. Yeah, here we go again. The will of fate is turning. Ready? One. Action. Counter. Yeah, so Yukiana said won't activate and get used to that because you're gonna have to fight like that for a couple of times. Yeah, I I already went through this before my computer kind of crapped out. So I knew what to expect, but you know, expecting it and actually being able to work with that expectation is two different things. Fuck off. I was blocking. Fuck. Ugh. All right. Perhaps I should have kept it on beginner. The will of fate is turning. Rebel one. Action. Counter. Oh, fuck off. There we go. Just needed to corner him. Just needed to corner him. That's the only way you could really do it. Jin, are you messing with me? <laughs> Yukiyanaza, what's the matter? Why won't you activate? What the hell's wrong with you? Attacking me out of nowhere and then holding back? Sorry, but I don't have time to deal with your bullshit right now. No! Something's wrong! Why is this happening? Stop. Just stop it with the insanity. More important than your delusions, there's a question I want to ask you. You have... a question for me? Why did you come here? Why the hell are you after me? Why? Surely you could come up with a better question than that. To kill you, brother. What other reason would I have? Jin, draw Yukiyanasa. What are you going on about? Just do it! <sighs> Yukiyanasa, activate! Wait... What's the matter? So, it seems that what my master told me was true. Shit. Jin, you know that the Nox Nictoris choose their wielders, right? Of course. And that's why Yukianasa has chosen me. I have no clue how the Noxes are made, but each weapon has a will of its own. That is how they select their owners, and why they will do anything to protect those who wield them. However... In exchange, those wielding it must pay a certain price. Of course, that price can be anything. But there is no doubt that the wielder is losing something. <sighs> Jin, what have you lost? Surely you must know you've been tied to that sword for over ten years. I am... Yukianasa's master. Then draw your sword. I'll be your opponent. <sighs> Why? Why isn't it? Why? 
Are you an idiot? Do I need to draw you a goddamn picture? The answer is simple. You're not using the Nox, it's using you. No! That can't be! Jin, I heard this from my master, but you have some kind of power. Although he failed to specify exactly what kind of power that is. But when that power As expected of Jubei. Dionysus, you know, Jubei being all mysterious and not giving all the details, that's just the way he does things. Then you will become my greatest enemy. At least so he says. I'll become your enemy? I'm sure you understand why you can't draw the Yukianasa anymore. <laughs> hey, Nox Nictoris Yukianasa. I don't know exactly how much you hate me, but I'd be more worried about my little brother trying to take control of you. If you had an ass, I'd say you better watch it. Word around the campfire is that my little brother here is pretty strong. Even my master agrees. I guess the tables have turned. And now it's time for you to repay my brother for all that you've taken from him. Brother! Don't get all touchy-feely now, Jin. I still haven't forgiven you. I will never forget what you did back then. Ever. I'll settle my score with you when the time is right. And to make it crystal clear, I'm not talking to the sword. I'm talking to you. <laughs> yes, that's right! It would be meaningless if I didn't kill you myself! What's going on, an earthquake? No, it can't be. Is that Noel? Oh crap, this is gonna be bad. Noel? No Elver Million? Brother! Wait! I'll go too! Halt! Nope. We have a different final boss in mind for you. Just who in the hell are you? Get out of my way! Major Kisaragi! Y you're Tsubaki? What do you think you're doing here? Major Kisaragi, are you aware that you are wanted by the NOL on suspicion of desertion? There are few crimes more grave than fleeing the Librarium, as I'm sure you are aware. Tsubaki... I'm a first lieutenant now. Did you even know that I enlisted? I am well aware of your rank, First Lieutenant Tsubaki Yayoi. I see. Those born into one of the twelve families of the Duo Decim are enlisted as First Lieutenants. I've been through it already. But, First Lieutenant Tsubaki, I had no idea you were one of the Wings of Justice. I requested this posting. Do you have any idea what the Zero Squadron does? Would I be here otherwise? If you knew, then why would you volunteer to enlist in that squadron? You're no better than janitors, cleaning up the trash that others leave behind. I live a just life. As a member of the Duodecim, it is my duty to serve the Imperator in whatever way I can. You yourself are one of the Praetorian Guard, the Imperator's closest and most loyal soldiers. You must understand the burden and the importance of my position. Praetorian Guard, huh? To be called a loyal servant of someone you've never even seen. Major Kisaragi, I think you've gone far enough. Have I really? Major... Your achievements in battle are legendary, and your actions in the war against Ikaraga earned you the title of hero. I cannot believe someone as loyal as you would... would defect. Why? Why? You know how to ask the most important question, don't you? Well, Tsubaki, allow me to enlighten you. I did it because those were my orders. Is that not what a soldier is supposed to do? Even during the War of Ikaruga, it was the same. It was my duty as a Praetorian Guard to end this war as soon as possible. So I did just that. Put a quick end to the war, and guess what? It seems there were quite a few people who were troubled by the swift end I was ordered to accomplish. So, we've been implanted with false truths that only serve the purpose of advancing the agenda of people we'll probably never see. Besides, there were plenty of others who were capable of ending that war besides me. Do you know what happened to those people, Tsubaki? 
They were charged with crimes they don't remember committing, and conveniently disposed of by those of the so-called Wings of Justice. Tsubaki, is that cause really worth fighting for? Even if what you say is true, Major Kisaragi, order is still necessary. Order? Yes. Order can only be maintained when those who impose it have absolute power. This world, or rather the peace that this world enjoys, is provided by the rule of the Librarium. That is why, even within the NOL, order must be maintained. I requested to join the Wings of Justice so that I could maintain that power. That's bullshit. Absolute power? And you honestly believe that this so-called order you deem so important derives solely from the power of the Librarium? Yes, that is how I feel. You are an accomplished member of the Praetorian Guard. The Librarium needs your strength. That is why... I've heard enough, Tsubaki. I'm leaving. I suggest you go back to your squad. Do you honestly believe I will simply let you walk away? Do you honestly believe that you are capable of stopping me? That is what Izayoi is for. The sealed Armagus Izayoi. Do you have any idea what that weapon can do to you? Yes. A field that slashes light itself. Huh. Izayoi is an Armagus that fits its name. Do you honestly believe you can bind me with a field this week? You won't have to worry about anyone eavesdropping on us now. Jin, I've been ordered to kill you, but I... Please, you have to return with me. I don't want to kill you, Jin! Tsubaki, in that case, please tell me, who gave you your orders? Hazuma, of the Intelligence Department. Just as I thought. Damn it! Tsubaki, now I know I have to go after all. Something... Something terrible is about to awaken. I... Can feel it. That goes for you too, Tsubaki. That weapon is dangerous. Please, stop this madness before... You lose the light too. Jin... Whoa there, Tsubaki. Was that a little doubt I sensed just now? Oh, no, 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 no! That won't do at all! Uh. That voice... Captain Hazama! I'm gonna guess that this is that part where you guys are all... Captain Hazama? Or something. Am I right? I am, aren't I? Did Jin say... That voice? I bet he did. Well, anyway, unfortunately for you, I'm not here, or there, wherever it is that you are. I'm somewhere else, being really busy, unlike a couple of lazy idiots I could mention, so I don't really have the time to play with you. I can't sense his presence. A shadow? See, this is my little insurance policy. Sometimes our girl Tsubaki can be a little unreliable, you know? So, just do your job, babe. All right? Kisses. Jin! <laughs> Hazama, you bastard! What in the hell did you do to Tsubaki? I... I only ever wanted... to be by your side, Jin. Noel... Noel is just... She's always... taking my place. Tsubaki, what's the matter? Tsubaki! Noel, that bitch again! God damn it! Will she only be satisfied after she destroys my sanity? What's going on? I will reiterate. Ugh, as I did last time, your sanity's already gone there, Jin. Way past gone. But regardless. It seems that Terami is not going to let this end peacefully, and it also seems that Jin still has some of his senses left. And looking back on this a second time, I think what, what Tsubaki is saying is absolute bullshit. There was no way that Noel and Jin would have gotten so close, especially their interactions in the academy. But I digress. 
Uh, it's this one. Yeah, yeah this is this is a good. <laughs> this is a good, this is a good fucking picture right here. Jin, I live a just life. The librarian and the Imperator bring order to this world. They must be protected at any cost. I will cast judgment upon all who choose to stand in my way. Wake up! Sabaki! Bum bum bum. <clears throat> Remember what I said before about Yuki Anasa? Fucking ow! What? Yeah, you still can't use it. This is so annoying! <laughs> Stop jumping! I'm only jumping because I can't do any anything otherwise. I can't even use that anymore. I can't use that at all. Stop grabbing me! Fuck off with your fucking combos. Sure, I understand, but it seems you cannot use your sword. <laughs> Notice also how her change of how her clothes have changed color from whatever uh, like tannish it was to black, and you know her eyes as well. All the more reason you will not be able to defeat me, Jin. Please give up. Give up? You've got to be joking. I've already given up on life. On the world. <sighs> but I've decided to cast aside apathy and fight. Not only against this so called order, but against the world. Tsubaki, if you insist on preserving this travesty you call order, then from now on, you are my enemy. That is very unfortunate, Jin. If you are my enemy, then you must die. I am the cold steel, the blade that will restore balance to this world. Nox Nictorus Yukianasa activate! There it is. Let's have a rematch the correct way, the shall we? Rebel 1, action! You like grabs? You like grabs, Subaki? You like grabs so much? Well, I'll give you yours in return. What? What is this? No! <laughs> Jin, sliding by Tsubaki, slashes across the darkness in a completely random pattern. Who are you? Your presence is so faint. Are you too a shadow? Uh... 
Hello, Phantom. Impossible! You cut through the field with a single swing? Tsubaki. Is it time? Wait! Where are you going? Goodbye, Jin. I hope we will meet again. I wonder... Will I be able to save Tsubaki? We won't figure that out until later. <laughs> Still wasting time here, kid? You! You're... You and Ragna. Couple of self-righteous little ingrates, that's what you are. <laughs> Can't bring yourself to show a little respect for an old man. You. Are you injured? I ought to be asking you the same thing, kid. What in tarnation happened here? Huh. All right, I get it. You don't feel like answering. That's fine by me. It ain't been long since I saw you last, but you done changed a whole heck of a lot. Hell, them eyes of yours finally got some power behind them. Reckon maybe this time you'll take a stand and fight? Enough of your meaningless drivel. If you don't mind, I'm in a hurry. I don't have time to waste talking to you. Right you are, son. Hurry along, then. You gotta save Ragna, and you ain't got much time. Me? Save... my brother? Yep. This here is your destiny, kid. But what you're gonna do about that? Well, you're gonna have to figure that one out on your own. I know I'm just repeating myself, but you boys have gotten yourselves dragged into this fight. Then again, I reckon we might have given you two a few pushes along the way. Our... fight? Your fighting's what you're figuring on doing. Best get yourself to the cauldron. Once you get there... Well, I reckon some of this mess will start to make sense. The cauldron? On the lowest level? Jin quickly turns his back on Jubei and begins to run. Jin, you take care of Ragna for me, you hear? Hmm. Decision. End. Alright. Well then. With that out of the way... In the next episode, we head back in and finish up Jin's story for real. Well, the main story's finished, but we still have the gag reel to, to take care of. And this is as far as I've gotten. I've not seen the gag reel, so everything from this point onward is completely new to me. I'll see you guys next time, where we finish up Jin's section. And then, well, we'll figure out... Uh, yes, her hers is is unlocked. So next time after that, we'll go and do Subaki's story. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later.